So we saw updates from Destiny Bresto 3 at San Antonio here in 2022. This trial had previously reported a significant improvement in progression-free survival with trastuzumab deruxtecan compared to the previous second-line therapy for HER2-positive metastatic breast cancer, which was TDM1. We saw updates this year, not only for progression-free survival, but also for overall survival. For progression-free survival, we're now seeing a benefit of over 22 months for trastuzumab deruxtecan compared to TDM1. So that's almost two years difference, which is really just amazing. We're also, although overall survival medians have not been reached, overall survival is statistically different. And so we're seeing not only an improvement of progression-free survival by almost two years, but also an improvement in overall survival. Considering quite a few patients kind of crossed over or said another way, ended up getting trastuzumab deruxtecan after they went off study if they received TDM1 in countries where it was approved, the fact that we're still seeing overall survival benefits is even more impressive.